All right, guys, so we got to react to a video that I think is 100% entirely fake. But the mainstream liberal media is treating it as if it is real, okay? I mean, it might be. I don't know, but I just think it's fake. And the reason why is because I think that with all these kind of crazy situations happening on social media, uh, that go viral, it is an easy way to market a product or a service to pretend like, again, there's some extreme situation going on and then you just so happen to be filming it, uh, like a situation that is entirely unbelievable. But again, you know, it is 2023, so anything is possible. Now, this situation right here involves uh, ex-NBA player Joe Smith, who finds out his wife has an OnlyFans. Now, some background on his wife. His wife, whose name is Keisha Chavez, uh, used to be a ex-adult film actress, okay? Yes, she used to bust it open <laughs> on camera for money, and this ex-NBA player married this woman. Now, this guy, it is known that Despite making about $61 million playing in the NBA, he retired with only $18 million of those dollars, and he admittedly has spent most of his money. He did not make wise financial decisions, and that is why I'm doing this video, because I did a video earlier today about Deion Sanders' football team, and the thesis of that video was basically that nobody is telling these players... Uh, that they need to be saving their money and making wise financial choices with all of the money that they're making playing college football. Instead, they are wearing chains and jewelry, they're buying expensive clothes, cars, all types of crazy things, depreciating assets that ultimately uh, these athletes are going to end up broke. Now, again, I was accused uh, of being anti-black, okay, of um, you know, hating of victim blaming, uh, because I said it was a stupid decision for these, um, young black guys, right. To bring jewelry to an away game locker room in California. Uh, and it's just stupid to be buying this stuff in the first place. And the reason why I say that is because there's so many stories out there of athletes going broke and this story right here, real or not really does tell you how desperate, some of these people get because they're broke, right? How desperate they are for clout, clicks, and money. You're so desperate for clout, clicks, and money that if this video is fake, you have a man allowing his woman to uh, show herself on camera for money to pay the bills. And if it's real, it's still bad because this woman apparently is doing this because she needs the money because the bills need to be paid. So without further ado, let's go ahead and react to this. It's stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, yo, the disrespect that comes with it that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, yo. That's bullshit. I'm telling you, bro, that's up. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Calm, but you're not gonna say or that's up. It's not up. You're recording me with the door. Listen, it's not up. And we're going to, okay, look, so I have an OnlyFans page and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, it so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my I'm body, my your partner, you're supposed to come to me and talk to Joe, me Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Know, you know who the f*** was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before yeah. Before, met, yeah, I and I that. thought that I would never have to go Man, back to anything yeah, like this that again. But unfortunately, but not, no, no, no. that's not the case right after now. That, after that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, Everything. it hasn't. No, it had to. I had Obviously to do something. It hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the f 
Come on, Keisha, with that. It, it don't matter what they breaking you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so. to find out on the fly. All right, then. But now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. And so? Whatever. I've been doing what I have to do, period. Like, that's bottom line. That's what it is. Yeah. So, you seen that, you heard that. Now, I basically have a whole video on why <laughs> these types of women that you know, used to sell their box for a living are unmarriable. Um, and part of the reason why is literally what happened in this video, which is that uh, their mentality has been so altered, right? Their mindset has been so altered from their past life that they're incapable of actually being wives, right? Of actually knowing, you know, how to take care of a man and not to go back to what they know, right? Which is exactly what this woman is doing. If this story is real, okay? This man married a former adult film actress and she's going back to what she knows. And he's trying to act shocked and surprised because she allegedly did it behind his back when it's like, bro, this is what you married, right? This is what you chose to get with. You chose to get with a woman that, you know, got her cheeks clapped on camera by other men for money, right? What did you expect? What did you expect? But again, what you have here is an NBA player who, you know, made a whole lot of money. He made a life-changing amount of money, right? $61 million. With $61 million, uh, it should be extremely hard to go broke uh, <laughs> if you simply put the money in a dividend yielding account where, you know, 61 million, you can probably pull in at least a cool 800, 900, maybe a million dollars a year taking minimum risk. Okay. Probably more than that, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I think you could have lived a pretty nice life, right? You could have lived a pretty nice life, but no, no, no. He spent most of that money. Okay. Probably spent it on chains, cars, women, right? You know, he probably spent all types of crazy stuff. And then he's married to a former adult film actress. And they're so desperate to pay the bills that she decided to start an OnlyFans, right? Because they're that, des they're that desperate. And for him, yeah, it's totally embarrassing as a man, right? However, again, I don't believe this situation is real. But again, what it goes to show you is how desperate some people are for fame, clout, clicks, and money. Because if this guy is that down bad that you allow yourself to be openly disrespected on camera in a fake skit that your former adult film actress wife is doing to promote her OnlyFans where she may or may not be getting her cheeks clapped on camera, potentially by another man because that's ultimately where this leads, right? Like, again, just look at that Adam 22 story. Again, that really... Tells you everything you need to know about Joe Smith as a man. If this is in fact a skit, like it's actually worse if this is a skit than a real life situation. Like if this is actually real, because it it it, it means that he's okay with this, right? He's okay with his his wife, you know, doing what she's doing on camera for money. After you made millions and millions of dollars, where your wife shouldn't have to work, right? Your wife shouldn't have to, you know, do that, right, in order to pay the bills. If you mismanage your money that bad that your wife has to get an OnlyFans and you have to shoot a fake video to promote it, that goes to show you just how much of a man this guy is not, right? To, <coughs> to stoop this low to pimp out his wife for money just to live, right? I would go, I would go work overtime. I would work every day of my life, not to have my wife doing something like this on camera for money because I mismanage my finances, right? I'll find a way to pay the bills. I'll do whatever I got to do. Apparently not this guy. Either way, total embarrassment, right? And, um, you know, hey, this is 
what happens, right? <laughs> this is what happens when athletes go look broke. They stoop this low <laughs> trying to pay the bill, pimping out their wives. Amazing stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.